All right, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. Appreciate you guys uh, for tuning in on a day to day basis. Love you all. Um, as you guys know, if you did watch my last update, which was about a week ago, I kind of indicated that, you know, I will be away. Uh, you know, I was out of the studio, so I was unable to give you guys the regular updates, but we're back on schedule. Um, so, you know, if you have not subscribed or you're waiting for subscribe, so you do not miss any of these updates. But let's get right into it and really talk about the broader market. You know, I want to give you guys these updates more often because you guys enjoy it and it kind of gives us a better understanding as to what's happening across the market. So if we're looking at the last 24 hours, once again, you know, quite a bit of red across the board. And this is not new, especially if you're looking at it even on the last weekly time frame, pretty much a lot of red across the board, especially the month time frame look at it pretty much everything besides like i would say three to four coins that are in the green but everything else seems to be down double digits some even being down about 45 to 50 percent significant significant pullback uh, for the market over the last one month so what exactly is happening right now and what exactly is causing this that's what we're going to be discussing so sit back relax and enjoy the show so whether you hold solana whether you hold caspa whether you hold meme coins whatever the case may be um you know this does impact you in some way shape or form so uh, before we get into it, as always, just a quick disclaimer, anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. So we know what's happening across the market, pretty much across the board. If you're looking right now, everything seems to be down except a few handful coins. And um, this goes back to what I've discussed, you know, the momentum that I was talking about in my last updates, I would say the last two to three market updates that I've given you, I was telling you that, you know, let's not get too excited. We're not out of the woods yet. I do expect the price of Bitcoin to drop lower. And as a matter of fact, we actually did end up seeing that exact same scenario play out. And am I surprised? Absolutely not. You know, the FOMC meeting really gave these whales a chance to shake out the weak hands. And of course, pretty much after the BTC happening took place, we haven't seen excitement, like, you know, uh, massive moves like we have seen leading up to the happening itself really take place for the market. And again, in some way, shape or form, kind of reminding me of 2021. Uh, but let's take a closer look and see what is happening. You know, I want to talk about, um, you know, the OG Willy Wu, you know, a huge, huge analyst in the crypto uh, market. And of course, the traditional market as well. Um, highly respected. I'm a huge fan of uh, Willy Wu's work. And I want to kind of speak about what, um, you know, he's mentioning. So you could see, he says, nice to see some of the speculation getting purged the last few days. Still a bit heavy, still too much speculation. Bears still in control, but Bitcoin got so oversold in the liquidations that it's really hard to go lower without an uptick. So basically what he's saying is that, you know, we went down so much that, you know, we anticipate a little bit of an uptick for the price of BTC. And we're already seeing that, you know, when I pull out the chart for Bitcoin, it will make sense. And also going above, you can see this for yourself. And I really agree with this specific statement. Um, and I know a lot of moon boys are not going to like this part, but you know, we are realistic. We, uh, we keep it a hundred percent on this channel. You can see this for yourself. Willie Wu comes out and says, so be prepared for very boring price action for many more weeks. It's not moon boy time. It's time for speculators to liquidate themselves or until they get bored and close positions. Then we can move on. Best path here is to stack positions and let degens die. And, you know, that's kind of the state of the market right now as well. Um, what you're starting to see is these a massive whales coming in trying to manipulate the you know futures market and that's where um you know these liquidations are occurring and we're seeing massive amounts of liquidations occurring for longs and i think we're going to continue to see that happening before you do tend to see the market picking up so what i'm anticipating is maybe july might also be a slow month unless otherwise we hear some massive news coming out for btc or some massive institution or another coin gets an etf maybe that will bring in a little bit of more hype factor into the space but i think uh, pretty much until 
mid-August, um, you know, going into September, I think we're still going to be in the shaky side of things. So I think July could be slow. And if you're looking at the crypto fear and greed index, you know, we're in the fear zone. And as you guys know, there's a famous saying, be greedy while others are fearful, be fearful while others are greedy. So in short words, what this kind of means is that, you know, when you're being greedy, while there's so much bloodbath across the board, you're accumulating projects that you like, you know, when you were seeing these projects absolutely exploding, you were kind of still hesitant, but you know, now you get that opportunity. Um, and, you know, people that are being greedy right now that have done their due diligence and have, um, you know, uh, researched the projects and are dollar cost averaging into the projects they like are the ones that are going to be winners of course if they exit at the perfect time and that's what you're seeing happening right now a lot of um, you know newcomers unfortunately uh, speaking are getting um, you know left behind you know they are in massive massive uh, loss especially when it comes to profits and this is why you know I teach you guys on a day-to-day -day basis do not listen to uh, you know the trolls do not listen to uh, these people on Twitter or in the comments down below saying you know we're gonna go to this we're gonna go to that there will always be massive swings like this and best way to dodge that is by locking profits and not getting greedy you just cannot stress this enough I've been in this space for eight years um, you know eight and a half years to be exact and let me tell you I've learned it the hard way and I don't want my viewers new ones uh, I want you guys to be way more prepared than I was coming into the market so this is why I try to teach you guys this but um, you know I think the next you know few weeks could be slow yeah that does not mean every single project again you know that's something I want to be quite clear about but let's take a look at what's happening with BTC dominance. The Bitcoin dominance has seen a sharp uh, dip. We're currently sitting at 54.59%. This is giving a little bit of breather to some altcoins. Um, and um, if you're looking at BTC right now, going back to Willie Wu's point, you did see a huge sharp drop. We saw BTC going down to $58,400, but it actually did not get down to the 57k and what's the beautiful to see is the fact that you know bitcoin was able to claim back above the 60k psychological price point so that's where we're kind of sitting but the craziest thing is we're still in the 23.6 fibonacci retracement level so that's beautiful to see you know how i look at this right now even if we were to see the next three four weeks to be a little bit on the boring side you know a lot of liquidations occurring a lot of manipulation longs being liquidated even shorts i think will get uh, liquidated because now let me tell you something now what people are probably thinking is oh you know btc is looking quite bearish let's start piling up shorts and this is where uh you know whales will come out and push the price of btc towards the ups and uh, causing shorts to get liquidated and that's how this market works and this is why you want to stay away from leverage trading completely um but um you know we're still in the 23.6 fib zone um how i would treat if i was um you know in the market to accumulate again uh, during this time specific I of course would be doing my due diligence research as always and uh, getting into projects dollar cost average again right now because I personally believe there is a massive sale going on across the board look at it 50% drop across the board for a lot of projects not just one pretty much a lot of these projects down 40 35 38% um, and if you were someone uh, that locked in profits over the past three to four months when the market was absolutely heating up give yourself a pat on the back you deserve Deserve that uh, but you know that's pretty much it for today's update do let me know down below what you guys think love you all see you tomorrow with crypto zx and peace